Hi, Summit fans. Welcome to the Blytheville, Arkansas ECTA meet. Our backdrop today is one of my favorite cars ever. ever. It is Big Red, one of the most awesome 69 Camaros ever built. Incredibly fast. Speaking of incredible cars, Brian, what was your favorite car today out of all the stuff we saw through tech? All right, so what everybody has to know is I am looking at a veritable sea of goodness here. I am looking at a 935 slant nose, Corvettes, 200 mile an hour stuff here. I'm working, looking at the world's fastest Hellcat that's done like 214 miles an hour in the, in the mile. Anyway, what's really cool about this event is there's such a super wide variety of cars and machinery out here running. And it's anything from a guy right over there with a, a 1987 Honda CRX that he's doing 130 miles an hour in. There's a guy out here with a Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, and there's cars that are out here that are gonna do 300 miles per hour. We've got the Ford GT out here. Speaking of classes and cars, we might happen to be doing something tomorrow with an interesting vehicle that we drove down here. So we are gonna go for the record for our Tesla Model 3 and the class that it's in. Uh, we're going to feature some coverage on that. We'll let you know how fast we go, because we do not know yet. So tomorrow we are going to have a riot. We're going to go out and set the EV record with a Tesla, brought to you by Summit Racing. So we are very proud and happy to be able to do that. So this is the part of racing affectionately known as hurry up and wait. We are in the staging lanes. Uh, Brian and I both have to make a rookie pass before we're allowed to go do the full mile run. So we're gonna run the car up to three quarters of a mile, maintain our speed, go through the one mile exit, uh, tap the brakes to let them know we know where the finish is and everything, hit the return road, come back up, and that will complete our rookie lap. So a lot of cars here today, a lot of activity. Looking forward to getting out there and getting this done. But uh, right now we're in the lanes, but it is hurry up and wait time as a lot of you racers are used to. We're gonna go out and hit it as soon as we can. All right, everybody, we've had our first full day, but the first two runs we were able to make were to the half mile mark, which Al set the thing at 137, no problem, easy peasy the rest of the way. Uh, then I was gonna go to the three quarter mile mark and just kind of, you know, go flat through the mile, hit about 147, so everything's fine. Car's solid, car's happy. Feels great so far, we're pretty happy with it. It's going through about 15 miles of range per run. You know, so if you're kind of curious, you know, what it's gonna be like. But I wanna tell everybody here, Steve Strepp and everybody with the ECTA, the whole team here have been wonderful to work with. All the racers, all the cars are awesome. You definitely need to try to come out and be a part of this, bring a car. There's a class for everybody and it's a great time. Getting ready to make our first run. We got in line early, so we're off to a good start. We are going to go try to set the uh, the half mile, the one mile, and the 2K record all in one shot. So yesterday we ran into a little problem with the speed limiter at about 145. We've reset that. So with any luck today, we'll go 150 plus. We'll know soon enough. So here we are on the final day of the ECTA meet in Blytheville, Arkansas, uh, getting the battery ready for our trip back to Ohio. We did have two awesome days of racing though. We set the half mile, the one mile, and the two kilometer record for an EV powered vehicle with our Tesla. Uh, but we did learn a lot about the variety of Tesla Model 3 performance vehicles available. Brian, what right. did we learn? So, so basically there are a few variants and the one that we have is the Stealth model. The Stealth model left the factory with the base model brakes and it also left without speed rated tires and hence it was speed limited to 145 miles per hour, which it is very good at. Normally the cars will do like 162. I uh, also want to thank the Tesla owners uh, online who helped us with determining vehicle model because there's no marking or anything on the vehicle that tells you it's a Stealth model. So we worked with them and found that out. 
you know, just called them up on a weekend, like, hey, what do you think about this? And you're like, ah, you've got the unicorn stealth model. Great. Yeah, lucky us. So, <laughs> so we found that out and uh, we still had a great time. Our adventure back to Ohio begins very shortly. All the people at DCTA, great people. If you ever have an opportunity to come to one of their events, you absolutely should. The variety of cars is awesome. The people are great. And you can see some really great racing, awesome vehicles, all kinds of stuff here. So that's it for now, Summit fans. Thank you very much for watching.